afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Teacher Terry, and I'm here to read you the story on the same day in March. A Tour of the World's Weather, written by Marilyn Singer, illustrated by Frank Lessac. In the Arctic, polar bears ride on flows of ice, stalking seals, wishing fish, as the six-month sun begins to rise slowly in the Arctic skies. Here's the polar bears. How many can we count? One, two, three, four, five, six. On the same day in March, in Alberta, Canada, just when you can't even remember spring, that Wild Chinook blows in like a dragon. And quicker than you can say medicine hat, the biggest snow fort ever is nothing but a dragon-shaped path in somebody's backyard. So, it melted. The snow melted. On the same day in March, in Paris, France, the sun slips out Still winter pale, but all over the city, at bus stops and markets, on small streets and grand boulevards, people hurrying to work or school. People huddled in their coats and scarves, sitting at outdoor cafes and sipping chocolate. All of them turn up their faces to enjoy the sun's shy smile. Here's the sun. On the same day in March, in New York City. It's too gray to play outside today. The parents sigh. <sighs> the little kids complain. But the basketball players stay in the schoolyard, arguing what's worse, snow or sleet or freezing rain. On the same day in March, in the Texas Panhandle, they said it was just a tiny twister, not big enough to spin a horse or hoist a cow. But it did suck up a bucket of water and give Grandma's dirty old truck the first wash it's had in weeks. On the same day in March, in the Nile Valley, fog threads through the temples. In a Louisiana bayou, fog settles on the swamp on the same day in March. In Zan, China, in the park, the old men and small children guess, what will the wind carry today? Clouds of blue-winged swallows, dust that hurts their eyes, rain from up the mountains, Kites shaped like butterflies. On the same day in March, in, in Darjeeling, India, hailstones all over the hillside. No one is happy except little sister, who thinks the moon has broken and scattered its necklace of pearls. Hail is ice, small pieces of ice. On the same day in March, in central Thailand, it's too hot to plant rice, it's too hot to pick rice, but it's not too hot to spell rice, R-I-C-E, on the blackboard in the school. On the same day in March, in Dakar, Senegal, Sunlight sparkles on the mountains. In Barbados, sunlight dazzles on the sand. On the same day in March, in northern Kenya, the rains come and all in one day, they leave the gift of a river. Everyone hurry, come drink, come play, before the sun shines and all in one day takes the river away. On the same day in March, in the Amazon Basin, Brazil, Grandpapa is always late, 
the rain is always on time. Arriving at three o'clock yesterday, three o'clock tomorrow, three o'clock today. Only the weather wears a watch. Grandpapa likes to say, whenever he or the rain makes everyone wait. On the same day in March, in Darwin, Australia, board up the windows, bring in the boat. Better to be like crocodiles crouched on the shore than to be out sailing the sea when the willy willies come to call. On the same day in March, in Patagonia, Argentina, over the wide, dry plain, autumn shears the clouds like a flock of sheep. Catch the wool, Mama teases her youngest son. He doesn't understand why these white puffs vanish wet and cold in his fat, warm hands. On the same day in March, in Antarctica, penguins scramble on the shore, seeking mates, missing fish, as a six-month sun begins to slice down the Antarctic ice, all on the same day in March. The end of the story. We are now in the month of March. What will you be doing on this day in the month of March? Bye for now.